Hey guys, um, I'm back again, and this time we're going to talk about uh, Active Option, or AO. You'll see it abbreviated as AO in the MLS here in San Antonio. And um, basically that means that you're under contract, but there is an out for the buyer, um, that they've purchased that out from you. So um, either you or your agent has signed for that Active Option check, or the Option check, and uh, you should be receiving that check and you need to cash the check, okay, or deposit it in your bank, okay, if you're the seller. Um, something to keep an eye on is when that check uh, was sent to you, um, when it was receipted, okay, on the contract. Um, you have, I believe, three days, um, you know, for that, con con that option check to be receipted. So um, if you didn't receive that option check within three days, there really isn't an option in the contract. Uh, we'll talk about that later, a um, little more, but um, you know, just know that uh, your option period can last for a number of days here. Typically, um, you see seven to 10 days uh, for an, op you know, an active option status. Um, so they bought seven to 10 days for their inspection. Not typically, not something that's uh, mandatory, but uh, it, it's a good idea for a buyer to get a home inspection. So around here, especially with you know foundation issues, things like that, um, you know, inspections are done. You know, options are bought, um, and that money um, just goes to you, and then it's credited back to the buyer at the end of the agreement, typically here, um, and um, you know, as a credit. So. Um, cash the check, deposit the check, whatever, um, but understand when the option starts and when the option ends. Um, that way there's no confusion down the road. Okay, and uh, we'll be moving on to the next um, phase, hopefully, uh, real soon. So uh, congratulations on your option uh, status, if that's what you're in now, and hopefully you'll be in the next one real soon. Talk to you later.